Now, Hollanders, we're in Northern. Mm -hmm. So this will be the, the big meeting? Or well, good, good luck, luck with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, Susie. It'll be a lovely Thank trip you. over there, too. Yeah, Holland's a lovely spot. Mm, see you soon. Bye. $20 each. Brendan, Susie, Mark, you have it. Work for the rest. Which peninsula has the same name as the New Zealand Minister of Police? Brendan. Thanks. Yes. In connection with driving, what does the first A stand for in AA? Brendan? Automobile. Yes, the Automobile Association. Severely crippled in a riding accident, the US composer of Kiss Me Kate was Cole who? Mark? Porter. Yes, Cole Porter. Which word means both to enjoy something to the full and to flavour food as with a spice or... Mm, Susie? Spice. <laughs> or pickles. Relish is what it is. To the language and culture of what people does the word Hellenic refer? Susie? Greek. Yes. Sort of just down the road a little bit from where you're going. If a person perceives something underhand or treacherous, they are said to smell a what kind, Brendan? A rat. Yes, what kind of rodent? Do we shot we go? And Brendan, the advantage is yours by $10. 35 to spend with Jude. And when you're this age, or maybe a little bit younger, I think, these ones are a bit overgrown. Best thing to find under the Christmas tree, yes, you got it. It's a brand new bike. This pair of challenged 20 inch BMX bikes are equipped with top quality Shimano componentry. You guys are weird. And uh, they comply with New Zealand safety standards. Now they're colourful and racy, just like the people on them. And uh, they're just the thing to get you to school and then you can yep. whip around when the bell goes, can't you, young Jono? Normally valued at 470 tonight only six from the toy warehouse for the sale of the century. Yes. Thank you, John. Tracy, you sweet wee girl, but John's a naughty boy. Yeah. Brendan, great for charging around <laughs> Christy to me like Oh yeah. It is Bible <laughs> City, so. Much, like the ch much the child that I am, I might have to turn those ones down, I think. Go on, take the bright pick ones right after there, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, Brendan, six dollars. You're a student, don't you? You need cash. <laughs> In this pocket, I have a hundred dollars. That's fifty dollars a bike. I must give you credit, you're really smooth, Steve. Good heavens, I pulled out two hundred dollars. Oh well, two hundred dollars here, Brendan. And we'll inflict these children That's on it. You. For how much? Six. <laughs> and two hundred. One. Twice, Brendan. No. No sale. We'll hold the bikes, you hold your lead. Thirty-five, Mark twenty-five, Susie twenty. Which famous painter was immensely wealthy, had a blue period, and was a creator of Cubism? Brendan. Picasso. Yes, Pablo Ruiz Picasso. The composer Dvorak wrote a symphony while he was in America, popularly called From the New What? Susie. World. Yes, From the New World, a symphony number nine in B minor. What is the name of the swampy, partly forested region of southern Florida? Susie. No. Everglades. Which community service delivers food to the elderly and infirm? Brendan. Turf Moors. Try meals on wheels. To the board we go. First chance, who am I? I was born in South Africa in 1903 and died there in 1988. From 1924, I taught at various schools in Natal and was later appointed principal of a reformatory for young black South Africans where I introduced progressive and controversial reforms. On a prison fact-finding tour of uh, Europe and North America in 1948, I wrote my first novel about the woes of my native land, and I went on to found the anti-apartheid Liberal Party in South Africa. These activities meant a 10-year confiscation of my passport and much criticism for my opposition to economic sanctions. Famous as the author of Cry the Beloved Country, my given name is Alan, and my surname begins with P. I am Alan who? I am Alan Stewart. Patton or Payton. To the board, we'll do it again soon. And there's a 10 and a 15 behind two of the faces now. The republics of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, Mark. Yugoslavia. Are known collectively as the what state, starting with B, as the Baltic states. Which homophone means both anything which restrains or controls and a line of concrete on the edge of a street? Brendan. Kid. Yes. According to Greek legend, who was the king of Thebes who unwittingly, unwittingly married his own mother? Susie. Oedipus? Oedipus is right. Now, the audio question, please don't push your buzzer until I actually ask the question. First of all, listen to the following tune. <laughs> the film starring David Bowie that featured that soundtrack was called Mirror Brendan. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Who. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. The shrub Lawsonia inermis produces which reddish orange dye used for colouring hair? Susie. Henna? Yes, henna. Lawsonia inermis. Lawsonia inermis, yes. What is the name of the traditional theatrical entertainment common, especially in England, during the Christmas season? Mark. Music Hall? 
called Panto or Pantomime Mark, which American country musician had his hits with I Walk the Line, Ring of Fire, and a boy, Brendan? Johnny Cash. Name Sue. Yes, through the gift shop we go. And Brendan, the advantage is yours by $10, 40 to spend with Jude. Well, it's not every day that you find one of these inside your Christmas cr cracker. It's a remote-controlled garage door opening system, which you activate from inside the safety and comfort of your car. Now, you, what you do is you, you push the button there and it'll open and go, oh, get that right, Jude, open and close the garage door, and it'll automatically turn your garage light on as well. Normally valued at $651, Flight of yours for only nine from Merlin Access to Systems. Oh dear, and sale of the century. Right? I'm alright, it's Christmas. <laughs> I'm allowed to botch it up at Christmas. Yeah, Brendan, what do you reckon? You got a car? I do have a car. Oh well, you got a garage? It doesn't park in the garage. Oh. <laughs> Pantry well, door, put yeah. it on the pantry put door. Put it on the fridge door. On the yeah. toilet door, even. That, that on the toilet yeah. door. Well, well could be. Get the one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, $10 out in front. The lady tossed you, tossed you $7. dollars i got yours. Look, I know, it's contagious. No, cheeky, no, Steve. Oh. Okay. No cash, no nothing. <laughs> no. $6 once. No, Twice, Brendan. <laughs> no sale. We'll keep the garage door opening system. You hold your lead of 10, 40. Susie, 30. Mark, 15. And you can relax for a moment. To the home viewers question for tonight. What does a clinophobic have a fear of? Here's the question. We'll be back in a moment. Phobic have a fear of? Well, it's a fear of beds. Brendan, you're on 40. Susie on 30. Mark on 15. In 1797, a parachute was first used by a human from what kind of aircraft? Mark? Balloon? Yes, and it was totally intentional. There were 51 original members of which international organization? Mark? UN? Yes, United Nations. Beginning with E, what is the study of the engineering aspects of the relationship between humans, Brendan, Economics. and their working environment, you're right, which US pop singer has released an album of her hits entitled The Immaculate Collection, Mark, Madonna has, which, with regard to changes in consumer prices, for what do the initials CPI, Brendan? Consumer Price Index. And you're right. To the board. What is my title? I am a series of children's novels, also much enjoyed by adults, the first of which appeared in 1950. Although the first written, this book is actually the second of the series. The narrative begins when two children named Diggory and Polly find themselves in their uncle's secret study. In another and magic world, they hear a creature named Aslan sing a whole world into being, a world whose name is that of my whole series. The last, Brendan? <laughs> Susie and Mark, I'll continue for you. The last of the stories with the word last in its title tells the story of a great battle for my land's salvation. Known collectively as Chronicles and created by C.S. Lewis. Susie? Narnia. Narnia is white. The Chronicles of Narnia. Wonderful story. Susie, for you round the ball we go. Ian McFadden. Satirical social commentary from the comedy company. Wendy Craig and Jeffrey Palmer. Comedy from the English suburbs on Butterflies. Richard Dean Anderson. He's the guy for already stopping the bad guys in their tracks. Rio Perlman. Keeping the crypts flying on Cheers. My viewer looked a little happy bean. His name is Sam Keach. He's happy because Sam lives in the McCargill and he's a keen collector of all sorts of creepy crawlies. Sam has friends in Canada and he'd like to visit there and he'd love to be a milk delivery boy one day. Good on you, Sam. <laughs> Susie Aiken. Hosting the magazine style chat show New Zealand Today. Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. Shedding up a desert storm with Looney Tunes. Helena Keeley. Currently performing in the fun loving and funky dance show Into Orbit. And Nicholas Ranger. From the New Zealand made skid out series Betty's Bunch. Susie, your choice. Uh, Rio Perlman. From Cheers has. You want a superbly crafted porcelain parrot originating in Hungary and hand painted? It'll take pride of place in your mantelpiece, valued at $308 from Heron. There you go, Susie. <laughs> Porcelain Parrot. Mm. You're in second place too, Susie, on 30, Brendan on 50, and Mark on 20. Used in the Middle Ages throughout Europe and Asia was which device? The ancestor of the modern calculating machine. Susie. Abacus. Yes. Beginning with F, what is the method of painting on a wall or ceiling? Brendan. Fresco. Before the plaster is dry, you're right. Which was the first international airline to put a Boeing 747 into service? was Pan Am in 1970. In which town southwest of Paris did Louis XIV build a great palace? Susie? Versailles. Yes, Versailles. Good looking up we go. And Brendan, the advantage is still yours. $15 up, 55 to spend with Jude. Now, I know Christmas is a whole week away, but why not shout yourself an early prezi? Yes, the elves are busy, aren't they? Made from durable timber, this elegant garden seat is a classic design from the Edwardian era. Now, it's been beautifully made, as you can see, with a high curved back, feels very comfortable. All you've got to do is pop it in a favourite spot in the garden, grab a good book, drink, snack. You're away laughing, just sit outside and lap up the sunshine. Normally valued at $16.95.
tonight, only 16, from Cantwell and Brown and Vale and McKinsey. <laughs> Jan Elf and Katrina Elf. This is really Oh, Ooh. watch out. Brendan, I'm not going to muck around. I'm going to make you offer straight up, because I know you want this, don't you? <laughs> $15, Brendan, and 200 cash is my offer. What a good deal. <laughs> Just like that. Done. Oh, ho, ho, ho. sales <laughs> surprise, another $200, Brendan. That's nice. $400 richer, now the same score as Susie on 40, Mark on 20. How many pounds are in 100 weights? Brendan? 144. 112 pounds in 100 weight. Blind from the age of 3 to 7 was the French cabaret singer born in 1915, Edith who? Susie? Pierre. Yes, her name was Edith Gaspion. In which country was the International Society for Krishna Consciousness organised in 1954? Susie? India. India is right. Last chance of the board, who am I? I was born in London in 1919. I joined a dancing troupe at the age of 11 and formed my own troupe at 15. Becoming a band singer, I made my first broadcast with Joe Loss in 1935 and went solo in 1941. I appeared in a review called Apple Sauce at the London Palladium and my radio series, Sincerely Yours, was aimed at servicemen. I toured war zones singing such hits as Susie. Sherilyn. Sherilyn is right, yes. The White Prince of Dover of Will Meet Again. Susie, you're in the lead. Your pick of the board uh, could extend that. Ian McFadden. Ian McFadden has. <laughs> oh, that changed the score dramatically. We'll check out how those scores changed in a moment. Choose the other dollars. What a great pick. Nicholas Rainder had the wild card. Wendy Craig and Geoffrey Palmer, the $10. And Helena Keeley, the $15. And we now have a $55 spread. Our champ from last night, Brendan, you're on 35. Susie with that 25 goes to 75. Mark, 20. Back in a moment for the final round. Fast money. <laughs> Wednesday, Brendan, you are at the moment on 35. You need a 50 and the win for that dinner set. You're on 35. Susie, you've got the advantage on both Brendan and Mark. With that $25, put you out to a nice handy lead on 75. And Mark, a little bit of work, only $15, though, away from Brendan. You're on 20. There are 60 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. In Auckland, Mount Eden is an extinct what? Brendan? Volcano. Yes, of the chemical elements, which is the lightest? Brendan? Hydrogen. Yes, the major mining area in Australia is at broken what? Mark? Hill. Yes. What butterfly is named after a beautiful Egyptian mark? Monarch. The Egyptian queen, Cleopatra, in which U.S. state is the coastal city of Long Beach? Susie? California. Yes. Which sea directly connects Russia with the North Sea? Mark? Black. The Baltic Sea, in which sport is George Foreman famous? Brendan? Boxing. Yes. Nassau is the capital of which island country? Susie? Bahamas. Yes. Until 1959, the ruler of Tibet was the Dalai Wat. Brendan? Lama. Yes. What is the three-letter abbreviation for etc.? Brendan. ETC. Yes. What type of plant is a maidenhair? Brendan. A fern. Yes. What is the Argentinian name for the Falkland Islands? Brendan. Malvinas. Yes. A U.S. Marine is colloquially known as a leather what? Leather neck. In which ocean are the Admiralty Islands located? Mark. Pacific. Yes. Which word for parts of a chain? We have our champion by 15. Susie has done it. Oh, Susie. You thought Brendan had caught you, but your final score was 85. Brendan just 15 back on 70. Mark, 20. Jude. Mark, good luck with the law. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to sell your prizes tonight, but thanks for joining us. Great, thank you. Oh, Brendan, you <laughs> bought that garden seat well, off us, mate. Been all along. Oh. Anyway, over the last couple of nights, you've added up to uh, $3,890 worth of prizes. That's fine, too. Good on you, Brendan, and thank you. That $15 is what you spent on the yeah, garden seat, and <laughs> that was the margin. Not a problem. Thank you for the game. And to you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. We have these for you. Yes, you'll both be presented with the electronic board game of Sale of the Century from Lincoln Play Corp and your very own nine-carat gold money clip from Michael Hill Jeweler. Susie, Susie. Probably more songs have been written about Susie than anybody else. Yes, I think so. Yeah, you're $308 richer as far as cash and prizes are concerned. Oh. You're like bigger than that carrot. Good idea. And 85 in the bank.